Hi, um, welcome back to Why Love the First Graders. We're going to do lesson 25 today, and our first um, problem is going to be number 9. And for number 9, we have 82 plus 17, so we're going to have 82 plus 17. And so first, like always, we're going to do the 1s. And 1s is 2 plus 7, which is going to be 9. And then we're going to add the tens place. The tens place is also going to be 9. So our answer for number 9 is going to be 99. Moving on to number 11. Number 11 is subtraction. So we're going to do 46 minus 24. Of course, we're going to do the 1s. The 1s is going to be 6 minus 4, which is 2. Then we're going to do the tens. The tens is four minus two, which is also two. And so for number eleven, our answer is going to be twenty-two. Value. Write the numbers in the correct value. So for number five, we have six tens and zero ones. This means that there's two digits, tens. Ones. And we see that there's six tens and zero ones. So there's going to our number is going to be sixty. For number nine, we see that there's hundred tens and ones. So we're gonna have three digits. So first we see there's 700 zero tens and one one. So our answer for number nine is going to be 701. Moving on to write the correct value of the highlighted number. So we have 13 and 14, and so first for 13, we have 378. So if we break it down, so we have 300, 7 tens, and 8 ones. And it's asking which value would be 7, and 7 is in the tens place, and 7 tens equal to 70. So our answer for number 13 would be 70. For number 14, we see that the 9 is highlighted, the second 9 is highlighted. So you can do the same thing as before. We can have 3 digit, 100, tens, and 1s. And we have 900, 0 tens, and 9 ones. And we are looking for this 9, not the first 9. And we know that 9 ones equals 9. So our answer for number 14 is 9. Moving on to comparing numbers. Write greater than, less than, or equal sign below. So first we have 11. And so on this side we see 5 minus 3 blank. 5 plus 3. So first we're going to figure it out. 5 minus 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 1, 2, 3. And we get 1, 2 left. So on the left side it's going to be 2. Blank. What's 5 plus 3? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8. So our answer for 5 plus 3 is going to be 8. And which side is greater? The right side is greater, so the alligator will be eating the right side. So our answer is going to be 5 minus 3 is less than 5 plus 3. So now for number 13, we see that it's 25 is greater than, equal to, or less than 
52. And if we look at it, um, what we're going to look at the tens place first, since the tens place is the greatest value. And we see that the for, for 25, the tens place is a 2. And then we see for 52, the tens place is a 5. So we're, using this, we're going to see is 2 greater than 5 or is 5 greater than 2. And since 5 is greater, 52 will also be greater than 25. So our answer for number 13 is 25 is less than 52. Moving on to word problems. So we see that we first have a chart. A chart with um, everyone's name and the number of boxes that they sold. Boxes of cookies. So Kay sold 8 cookies. Jeff sold 2. Cindy sold 4. And Jasmine sold 6. And so if we look at number... Let's actually do number three and number four too. So for number three, we see it's asking who sold the most. So if we look at the number of boxes, and if we look on the number line, So we see first that there is an 8, someone sold 8 boxes, someone sold 2 boxes, someone sold 4 boxes, and someone sold 6 boxes. Now which number is the furthest to the right on the number line? 8 is. So therefore the largest number, largest amount of cookies sold is 8, bo eight boxes, and who sold 8 boxes? K did. So K, K sold the most boxes, and he sold eight boxes. Who now? Who sold the least boxes? If we look at the same number line, we see that the number that is closest to the left is two, so which means whoever sold two boxes sold the least amount of boxes, and who sold two boxes? Jeff did. So, Jeff sold the least amount of boxes, and he sold two boxes. How many more boxes does Cindy send, sell than Jeff? So if we look at Cindy versus Jeff, and we're going to see how many that they sold. Jeff told sold two, while Cindy, Cindy sold four. And it's asking how many more boxes does Cindy sell than Jeff? So we're going to do subtraction. And so since Cindy sold 4 and Jeff sold 2, we're going to subtract 4 minus 2, and we know 4 minus 2 is 2. So Cindy sold 2 more boxes than Jeff. 